Okay guys, so we just had to come out and see this for ourselves. If you look right behind me, that little group, I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah, right back in there, you'll see the little, um, <laughs> little Trump rally here, Trump march. Um, kind of says a lot about the uh, community that we live in, which basically could be described as uh, backwoods as hell. So what you've got here are the phony patriots who think they're being patriotic, celebrating a racist, xenophobic, homophobic, transphobic traitor. Um, and this is what's to be expected in this town. And this is why, you know, welcome to Ohio, I guess, because this is what it's all about here. A bunch of morons with Trump flags because the American flag isn't good enough. Donald Trump has to create his own. Many of them saying things like, uh, Trump 2020, no more bullshit, because that's the classy way to run for president, um, with no more bullshit as part of your motto. Um, so yeah, it really is time that we get the attitude of no more bullshit. No more of this Donald Trump stupid ass bullshit. Time to get somebody with a little common sense in the White House and God knows it's not the people that these inbred idiots support. Yeah, so now we're on our way, well, just out taking a ride. We had to go see it for ourselves. And guys, that is a great example of exactly what is wrong with this country. People are proud of their own bigotry. They're proud of their racism. They're proud. They think that it makes them somewhat special supporting this idiot. All you had to do is watch his speech at Six Grandfathers yesterday, Mount Rushmore, and you would see the absolute bigotry. And this is coming from what apparently is now considered a terrorist because if you disagree with this president, you're Antifa. And if you're Antifa, then oh my God, you must be a terrorist as if opposing, you know, Antifa means anti fascism. And if you're not anti fascist, what the hell are you? We fought wars in this country against fascism, the neo Nazis, Mussolini. These were all fascist dictators. And the problem is, is the reason that Donald Trump has a problem with anti-fascist, with Antifa, is because his goal, his dream is to become that fascist dictator. Make no doubt about it. This man wants to invalidate an election. He wants to continue on ruling, not governing, but ruling this country like a king. And at one point in time, all of you Christians out there used to go and yell and say, well, you know, we've got no king but Jesus. But now all of a sudden, you not only have a new king, you got a new Jesus. And your new Jesus has become Trump. He can do no wrong to you. Even when you see it right in front of your eyes, you'll make excuses for this bigoted piece of trash. So, yeah, I come off strong. And I honestly don't give two shits if I do. If you don't like it, delete me, block me, do whatever the hell you want to do. But right now, we are in a critical point in this country. We have a man in that White House who has no right to be there, who is unfit for office, and who does not care about the American people. At the backdrop of COVID-19 with over 130,000 Americans dead, and this man still refuses to wear a mask because he thinks it make him, makes him look weak. You know what weakness is? His stupidity, his ignorance, his arrogance, his racism, his homophobia, his transphobia, his complete and total lack of connection with the American people. The fact that he has no idea because he is a rich, self-absorbed bastard and he deserves to be knocked out of that White House. I don't care if you like Joe Biden. I don't care if you supported him in the primary. I didn't support him in the primary. He was not my first choice candidate. But this is not a time for a protest vote. This is not a time to sit on your hands. This is a time to get mobilized. It's a time to get off your ass. Make sure you're registered. And when it comes time for that election, get there. 
vote for Joe Biden. Vote for the person that's going to turn this country around. He won't get us where we need to be as fast as we want to be, get there, but he'll sure as hell get us closer than what this absolute narcissistic bastard is going to get us. We need to make a stand. If you can reg you get registered to vote, if you can vote by mail, vote by mail. If you can't vote by mail because you're in one of those dumbass states that want to block it, kind of like the state we're in, then get off your ass, put on your mask, and stand in that line. We will. I don't risk my life for a lot of things during COVID-19 with all of this going on. But I'll tell you what risk I will take. I will take the risk of donning a mask and going out and casting my vote for Joe Biden. Because frankly, it is one of those things that I believe is worth risking. Because right now, this may be our only chance to turn the tide. Our nation is on the edge of a cliff. And Donald Trump has no interest but to shove it right over the cliff. Race relations are in terrible terrible condition in this country. We have a president who is constantly trying to backtrack on civil rights for various minorities, be they, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, be they people of color, women's rights, um, immigrant rights. This is the bigot that we have in office right now. And if you sit on your ass and you don't vote, or you say, I'm gonna vote third party, which is basically the equivalent of taking your ballot and lighting it on fire, then don't open your damn mouth when we are in the same mess all over again. It's time to stand up and it's time to do something. And that something has got to start with voting. Voting isn't enough. We're gonna have to push these representatives to make changes, but it's sure as hell a good place to start. Guys, like I always say in most of my videos, uh, the quote from Kesha, don't let the bastards get you down. We saw the bastards today. Hardcore, right, Jeremy? Yeah, wasn't a lot of them either. <laughs> and we are not letting the bastards get us down. The election is not dependent on this county alone. It's dependent on the entire U.S. You got to get out there. You got to open your mouth. And it's time, instead of speaking up in a whisper... It's time for some screaming because enough is enough. Anything? You know, most people are like, well, it's about political parties, but it isn't about political parties. No. It's about having a conscience and doing what's morally right and doing what's right for the greater good of this nation and its citizens and any other people that want a part of this nation and be part yeah. of our life and our culture. But, uh, and at this point, we, there's no question who's going to do that. And only you can decide what is right and th th this isn't right. No. Him glorifying uh, Confederate and uh, former slave owners as the founders. I mean, my gosh, the guy couldn't even pronounce half the words right last night in his no. speech when I saw it today. And uh, it was pretty pathetic, just to say the least. But uh, I wish everyone out there to stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of uh, your loved ones. And uh, we'll get through this. God bless all of you. All right, guys signing off for the day. Again, don't let the bastards get you down. Get out. Register to vote. If you don't know how to register to vote, contact, contact someone. Your local board of elections. I'm sure you have a representative for the Democratic Party in your area. Get with them. They will be more than happy to help you. If I can, I'll show you where to go. I don't care. But get out there and vote and do what has to be done because we have to make a change in this nation. Alright guys. Bye-bye.